Joey Gambetta. What role are you reading for, Joey? Reading for Aaron and Friends with Benefits. Hey, Katie. I was just in the neighborhood with an uh, award-winning celloist, Yo-Yo Ma. And I thought I'd drop by. How you doing? Hey, Aaron. Like, I'm so sorry I didn't call you back, but things have been kind of crazy, so how about I call you later? Look, look, Kate. I get it. I get it. You're, you're scared. You're, you don't know if I'm, I'm serious or if I'm just trying to get into your head. So I want to make a gesture that I'm pretty sure and I'm pretty confident that'll make everything clear. Katie. I'm... Hey, Katie, come back to bed. Want to know who that guy is? I'm ready to go again. I finished my sandwich. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. My name's Dirty Mike. Hey, uh, hi, Aaron. Just plain Aaron. Is that a ring? No, no, um, I mean, yeah, 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 no, it is a ring, yeah, because, uh, as it just happens to be, I'm going to propose to someone later, a woman that you don't know, she's Welsh. Mazel tov, dude, way to man up. Alright, well, you know what, actually, that, that's a lie, actually, uh, the truth is, I was going to go and date this woman who apparently you're having sex with now that your blood sugar's back up. Katie, what the hell's going on here? Aaron, I'm sorry. I meant to call you, but I didn't know what to say. I mean, you're perfect. You're the kind of guy I should be with. No offense. But the problem is you're too good to me. I break a date, you're happy to schedule, I don't call you back, you show up at my door with a ring and a chalice. You adore me, but I'm not even acting close to adorable. Sometimes when a chick is being a bitch, you have to call her a bitch. Oh yeah, bravo! Bravo, Dirty Mike, bravo! Thank you, thank you, thank you for opening up my eyes. I, you know, here I thought I had to be thoughtful and considered, when all I had to do was just say, Hey, you broke a date, bitch. Uh, go make me a sandwich so we can go have sex again later, bitch. See? Not so hard, is it? Okay, then we're gonna start. You come in when you're done. Nice to meet you, Aaron. I'm sorry, Aaron. Did at any point it occur to you that maybe you should just stop playing? It's gonna happen tonight, buddy. Hooking up with a chick from Missouri. Which will mean I slept with a woman from every state in the Louisiana Purchase. Next stop will be Lewis and Clark's. Oh, God. Man, you got your sadness cheese? It was terrible. I mean, it was epic. It was as if... Shame and humiliation had a baby, and then that baby shot me in the face. Dude, I know you're hurting, but the truth is, this chick didn't deserve you. You're Aaron Greenway. You're kind, you're smart, you're loving. Yeah, all attributes that apparently are repulsive to women. No, repulsive to that woman. And God knows what kind of sick, twisted self-esteem issue she's dealing with. And while that does sound kind of hot, you can't sweat this chick, Aaron. You can't. Not when the baby Jesus... Oh, would you just please stop about what this baby Jesus has given me? Look, I mean, well, A, it's not true, and B, it's mildly offensive. Look, I know you're just trying to help me out here, but the, the thing is, you didn't rent a horse, and you didn't go and book a couple's massage with an accompanied rose petal bath afterwards, and, uh, oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're not the one that rented a, or bought a diamond ring. By the way, I think you have to move the horse. Street cleaning. It's a $50 ticket. Look, I'm just in a bad place right now. And you're not going to be able to pull me out of it. So, just go enjoy your date. I can't have a good time knowing you're sitting here miserable. Now put away your cheese, move your horse, and come bang this girl from Missouri with me.